All right, you guys, so today on this one, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna show you how to go in and look at the different types of um, stuff in the web and on, um, on GroupMonkey, what we're gonna do is show you the features and everything. So let me just jump over here and um, let's go in here. So I'm gonna go ahead and log in and let's get this logged in here. So once you log in, it depends on the plan that you're on. If you're on the Platinum plan, you're going to get all kinds of the features of everything in there. So once you've logged in and now you come over here, you click, here's the different things. You have a web portal, you have web hooks, you have sheets. These are Google, uh, Google Sheets, Excel spreadsheets. You could change your password here. There's uh, training that John does on the videos and stuff. If you don't like my training, you can actually go and look at these trainings. You can cancel your account. And if you cancel your account, it's probably canceling with me anyways, and then logging out. So let's go check out the web portal. And one thing it's going to do is it's going to bounce around the monkey wheel because it's based off of um, you know where you're logged in so I'm logged in to the power of partnerships or wherever you're logged in it wants to connect okay so here's the different things on the web portal that are very interesting general information group name uh, the group members name how many members uh, friends that this member has the date that was requested in this group the date that was added to this group and then the time in the group status and action now if you go in here and you look at the q a and the questions then you have like your first question you want to have questions set up in your group so let me show you guys you guys have all seen the questions that i have um, right here member questions please answer the following questions to gain access what type of tier 5 partner are you how long have you been in here and what you want to do is you always want to capture some kind of an email address. If you don't capture the email address, what's the sense of having a group? Because that's how you want to be able to capture people, their info, and send them emails because you're going to be doing some sales to them and provide them value. So in this group that I have, it's a different group that I'm uh, an admin to. Uh, what I started to do was capture email addresses for the group owner in here. So I wanted to go in and show you guys here some questions and I'm going to be changing up some of their questions and helping their questions and everything. But look at what we're getting. We're getting email addresses and we're going to get more. And then on your group settings here, um, I will explain this on how this all works on another video. Um, specifically and then you have automation which I'll show you guys how to set up an automation in another training video but for today all I wanted to do is show you guys this web portal and the different types of things that have in it you have your uh, your group info and if you have multiple groups you can set them all up right here okay and then you have uh, web hook settings where you set up a web hook your sheets and your API settings okay so these are different things that you want to be able to set up and you can set up for group monkey so anyways I just wanted to be able to go to show you guys this and that's pretty much it so um, as soon as we move on to the next video you guys will actually see how I'm gonna use group monkey see you on the next training video. Bye -bye.